Hey guys and welcome back. My name is Daniel Caproni and this is another video on probability and statistics. Today I'm going to be helping you guys break down a statistics question into five specific parts and then one extra one at the end. This helps us really see what's going on in these questions and helps us to answer other things we might need to know from it. This will be an incredibly useful tool for the rest of the year. So let's go ahead and dive right in and I'm going to help you guys understand what the heck is going on. So the first step to understanding one of these questions is knowing how to actually break down in the questions the specific things you're looking for. In particular, we have six questions we're going to ask. Who, what, when, where, why, and how. So when we're looking through each of them, what do they mean? Now, a lot of times you have used these probably in your English classes, but today we're using it for stats. So let's look what each one means in a statistical setting. First, we got who. Who are the actual things that we are looking at or observing? So if I'm going to say, hey, we're going to do a study on students, they would end up being our who. Whereas the next thing we're going to look at is the what. Now, the what is what we're actually looking at about those students or about whatever it is you're studying. So that's usually the things that we're measuring or maybe it's the objects we're observing about them that's going to end up being your what. And those two are easily confused. So we're going to talk about those a little bit more in a second. The next one we usually look at is when. This is simply when the study happened. This is not when you are reading about the study or seeing it online or something like that. It is when they actually do the study. Next, we're going to look at where. Where is where the study occurred? So a lot of times that's talking like a physical location. Did it happen in the US? Did it happen in a specific school in the US? Did it happen in a specific classroom in a school in the US? You can get very specific with this. Sometimes it's super important, sometimes not so much. Next off is the why. Now, why just simply means why are we doing the study? Why should I care? Why are they looking at it? This can actually be very important or not at all. Sometimes people study just for the sake of knowing, but at the same time, you wanna know the why because a lot of times that can introduce bias. If I'm looking at a study specifically for a reason of trying to prove something to you, I may be biased in how I go about doing it. So you wanna know what my motives are so you can best understand my results. Last, we're gonna look at how. The how is the meat of the study. It's how they go about doing it. A lot of times, this is the validity of what it is they're doing. If you don't know how the study occurred, you can't really guarantee that they're legit. A lot of times, the how will be randomness or how they split up groups or maybe how they can guarantee that what they did was done in a fair and just way. As I mentioned before, the who and the what can be somewhat confusing, which is unfortunate because it's also our most important two of the six. So I really want to make sure you guys understand what's going on. Now, when we're looking at who, a lot of times people get confused on whether or not we're talking about who did the study or who it is they're studying. We always want to go with who it is we are studying. So if I have a group of doctors who are looking at me, Those are not the who of the question. The who of the question is me, this guy, all right? Now, that is going to be who those doctors are studying. So that's our big who in the problem. Now, that leads us into the what. The what is what the doctors are actually studying about me. So when I'm looking at this guy, what kind of things would the doctors care about? They might be looking at my weight, my height, my age, what race I am, what gender I am. These would all count as different what's, and they are all things they can observe about the who. It's time for an example. All right, so it says here, Mr. Caproni was curious if students tend to buy more red cars than anything else. Yesterday, he watched all the cars come into the parking lot and counted how many of each color there were. So what we're going to do is take our six questions that we've been looking at and Pull the information from this example to answer them. Starting off, who? Well, in this case, a lot of people want to dive right in and they're like, the who's Mr. Caproni? Wrong. The who is not Mr. Caproni in this case, because remember, Mr. Caproni is the one doing the study, not the one being studied. In this case, our who is actually not a person. The who 
are the cars because that's what he's looking at. That's what he's observing. That's what he's pulling the information from. Now, what is it that Mr. Caproni wants to pull from them? He wants to know if they're red or not. So what he is observing and the information he's pulling from these cars is their color. Now, as we move on from there, it says when. Now, there's not really a great answer to when, like an exact time. All we know is that this happened sometime yesterday. Where is he doing it? Well, it says that he's out in the parking lot counting these cars. So that's our where. Why is he doing it? Who knows? Mr. Caproni is crazy. All it says here is that he was curious. So that's all we have to go by as to why he wanted to do this study. Lastly, how did he go about doing it? Well, in this case, it doesn't really lay out his whole statistical study. It kind of just gives a very general overview of the fact that he watched the cars and counted how many of them ended up being red. Now would be the perfect time for you to try doing one of these on your own. I went ahead and put a second example up here. Try to go through the way we just did together and see if you can come up with the answer on your own. So go ahead and pause the video and do that now. Now, it also says there is more to the what. The what is often referred to as your variables, but we have two ways to define variables. This is what my next video is going to be about. So make sure you stay tuned because we're going to cover the two major types of variables and how they affect the way we look at what it is we're studying. As always, thanks for joining me today, guys. Remember, my name is Daniel Caproni, and these are your videos on probability and statistics. If you found anything new or helpful today, go ahead and smash that like button. Also, if you want to keep getting videos like this and see when I post new ones, go ahead and click subscribe and you will see all my new videos as they come. Again, it was great talking with you guys, and I hope you have a fantastic day.